Hello again, it is Damian from Man's Best Friend channel. Here I am with my girlfriend, my grooming salon. And today we have a special case. We have a female that is in a bad shape, but she has a lot of mattings, but she's not completely matted. So I'm not going to shave her like I normally do. Just going to cut these big mats off. And I think that I'm going to save a lot of hair, make her a nice haircut. And I think that she will definitely find in a good home dogs like this, small dogs that have this type of coat that doesn't shed you can see by her teeth I can see that she's not old these dogs pro usually get adopted pretty fast so I think that she will have a good life she was found by my friend in a place called Santa I mean near the place called Santa so we went for a little ride and got this dog here. You can see she's pretty matted around the butt, around the tail. But the rest of the body is not that bad. Okay. I'm going to take the scissors. and take this mat off she might look that she is under sedation or anesthesia because she's so calm but i think that it's only because she's frightened okay these are the big pieces, just going to do it slowly, make sure I don't cut the skin, sometimes if you pull too much you can pull the skin and then cut the skin if you're not careful, so it's better to groom a dog 30 minutes longer or how long it takes then to injure the dog again she's not under the anesthesia or any sedation probably going to ask me what <clears throat> breed is she she is a mix between a dog that has a continuously growing hair like a poodle or a hungarian pulley and some stray dog probably Very often it happens when you find a <clears throat> when we find a dog in a bad condition. It's usually a Hungarian pulley, and the reason because of that is because when people get a Hungarian pulley, they think that they shouldn't do anything with the hair. Because you know they see pictures with Hungarian pulleys having dreads or deadlocks, how do you call it? And they think, oh, we'll just let the hair grow and everything will be okay, and it is not okay. And it 
if you just let the hair grow it's going to be 50% of dreads and 50% of very very matted and painful hair so if you want your Hungarian pulley to have dreads take the dog to take your dog to a groomer and let them make dreads keep them clean because if you just let the hair grow it's going to be completely completely matted and these are not normal dreads this is here full of dirt mud who knows what so yeah, a lot of the times when we find a neglected dog, a lot of time it's a Hungarian pulley. And yes, you can groom a Hungarian pulley like the other breeds, like you can, you have to brush them and it's probably the best to groom them regularly. Because those dreads are very very hard to maintain, very hard to wash and the dog poops and pees, everything sticks to the hair. So yeah, there are people who have Hungarian pulleys and they brush them regularly the coat is like that long and it is great so that's my advice if you have one don't think that you should not brush them okay she has a lot of this Luckily she's cooperating, making this much, much easier. The reason why I don't want to shave her, first reason, I don't have to. I mean, it would be much easier for me and to her to shave this off. She's not going to be outside after this groom. So she's not going to be cold, it's very cold outside now in my country, in my city, especially at nights. But the reason why I don't want to shave everything off is because she is going to find a good home much much easier if she has a longer coat. nails
in this area is not that matted but I'm going to make it shorter before the bath so it will be easier to wash, easier to brush and then easier to shape trust me this girl is going to look so good she's going to find a good home very fast and yeah if the customer will bring me a dog in this condition I will definitely shave the dog and but in this case just want her to find a good home as soon as possible so I'm not going to do that Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit more around her head. I also think that this dog has a great personality. This is maybe probably her first groom. Okay, let's make this here shorter too. Yeah, that is Granny, you know I have a video with her, she's a blind and old dog, she's now tight, so she would not walk around while I groom, she found a home, we found her a home, uh, one lovely lady adopted her, she has six dogs, but they're all females, and the granny was very very aggressive to the females it's probably because she cannot see and that's why she's scared she's scared and reacts like that don't worry she's not going to bite the cable or anything at night i pull out the cable and and move the blow dryer so hopefully we're going to find her a, better home now with no dogs because it's better for her, her to live in, in a home that doesn't have other dogs and she's a great she is great with people okay now we're going to give her a bath actually my girlfriend is going to give her a bath 
and that's it let me just clean this place up a little bit and i'll see you in the bathtub okay let's give her a bath She's not used to all of this. This is kind of stressful for her. But it is for her own good. Okay, we're going to... I mean, my girlfriend is going to soak the coat first. And you can see, this is her apron the most famous tapering on youtube i always talk about in my videos when i wear it <laughs> and one day i'm going to buy a new apron i do have an apron that my brother bought me for my birthday but it's not waterproof and when i wear it while bathing a dog i get wet that's why i don't use it i use my girlfriend We're going to give her two sh shampooings and we're, I mean, we're going to shampoo her twice. She's pretty dirty. The second shampooing is always easier because the coat is totally wet, totally soaked and it's also cleaner and it is absolutely amazing how this dog is reacting greatly a lot of the dogs that are being bathed once a week can make you a problem in the bathtub and she's just acting like this is a everyday thing for her that she likes We use Chris Christensen hydrating blend, great shampoo, also the same conditioner. You can see how water is pretty dirty. Maybe we're going to have to shampoo her three times, but we'll see after the second one. You can see how cute she is. And you have to wash the ear shell, just make sure that 
the water doesn't come in. I mean, some water is definitely going to come in. It's not the end of the world like some people think. Just want to make sure that <clears throat> after the bath you get the ear dry. That means take the cotton wool, take the cotton pad and dry the ear canal. I mean, what happens when the dog swims in a pool or a lake or, or, or in the sea? The water will definitely come in. Okay, that's it for the ears. Also, you have to wash dog's face. This is a dog shampoo that will not burn the eyes, so don't worry. Dog's face can often be the most dirtiest part because when dogs eat, that hair gets dirty all the time. And when they sniff, they also get their, their nose dirty, so make sure that you wash it good. Okay, that's it for the first bath. As I said, the first one is always the hardest. Let's make it her. See how dirty their water is. Okay, we're going to wash her two more times. Want to rinse her out a little bit more. You don't have to rinse the dog completely if you're going to wash the dog again. Just make sure that when you are finished with shampooing the dog when it is the last one that you rinse the dog completely okay we're going to shampoo her two more times because she's very dirty and then we're going to apply the dog conditioner and after we finish the third shampooing she's now finally clean and we are applying the dog conditioner and actually when I look her face right now and her paws and the shape of her body she seems to me like a mix of dachshund just a minute dachshund <laughs> of that breed and like a poodle or some breed that has Continuously growing here. Who knows?
Okay, that's a bow conditioner. This is Chris Christensen. I was going to show you real quick. I hold it here. This is the conditioner. I use the shampoo. That's a concentrated shampoo that I put in this bottle and this is a concentrated dog conditioner and you have to dilute them before using them. Okay. Now I'm going to dry her coat with a high velocity dryer. I'm going to set it to minimum. And this dog is just great.
Okay, we finished the drying and we brushed her under the blow dryer. See how fluffy she is. Just want to give her a break, give her some water. She's probably too scared to eat or drink, but don't worry. I'm going to feed her and give her water later again. Yeah, a lot of the times this happens. Okay. I mean, my friend who found her did feed her. So, and gave her water. So that might be the reason that she does not want to drink. Okay. I'm going to take the comb and run it through the coat. In this way, if something is missing, if I missed some matted spots, I'm going to see. Okay, this is pretty good now and I'm going to check her nails. Actually her nails are pretty fine. Maybe I could cut them by a piece of millimeter, but that there, is really, there is really no need for that. Okay. I'm going to take the 40 blade, actually I'm going to take the 30 blade and do her pop pads. Sorry for the bad lighting, there isn't natural light coming from this way because as you can see it's almost 10 o'clock in the evening.
Okay, the pole pads are done. She did great for that too. I'm going to take the template for her sanitary area. She's going to be neutered tomorrow. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hands and clean her ears. Okay, let's clean her ears. They do not have much hair. I'm going to plug the hair first from both ears. This is an ear powder that makes this hair less slippery. Okay, this ear is dirty.
aqui. Okay, the ears are much, much better now and they are going to be examined by the vet tomorrow. I'm going to wash my hands again and finally give this dog a nice haircut that she deserves. Okay, I'm going to take dirty blade and uh, Thirteen millimeter comb attachment. And start grooming her body. You can see her coat is quite long. I'm making I'm cutting it shorter to like half of a size. And I decided to film grooming the body, one leg, the tail and the head. I don't want this video to, to last for two hours or more. <clears throat>
also the way we caught this dog is pretty funny my friend told me that he had a dog on his farm and he said that one night they heard a car passing near their farm and in the morning they found this dog so he asked me if I can come and get the dog because they could not approach him I mean her she was always running away and she was always there but they could not pet her so I brought a trap it is a cage that that when the dogs get in and presses the trigger the doors the door closes and close and the dog cannot get out so we put two chicken wings <laughs> in there and we left the trap and like 10 minutes later a little bit more like 20 minutes later my friend called me and he was like the dog is in the trap yeah, honestly I thought that maybe she won't even get in the trap but she got there in like 20 minutes so she's not used to anything she's very afraid of the leash my friend is going to give her a temporary home but I think that she will find a good home pretty soon Okay, I'm going to change this blade, even though this blade is not touching the dog's skin. Because of the comb attachment. okay that's it for the body for now i'm going to make it more even with scissors later
The hair on the tail grows in so many different directions. It's hard to shave that kind of tail, but I'll do my best to make it look cute. Okay, the tail looks cute. I'm gonna do this leg now.
Okay, the first leg is done, the tail is done, the body is done. I'm going to turn off the camera and finish the, the other legs and then film the head. Okay, I decided to film the grooming on one front leg. As you can see, she's looking pretty cute right now. And I'm just going to finish that front leg and the head. And make some nice pictures of her. This is going to be the first video where I... Okay, this is matted. Where I add before and after pictures at the end of the video. Some of you ask if I can do that. And I'm gonna do that this time. I mean, my girlfriend is. Okay, the body is done, see, she's 
she's looking pretty cute and now I want to do the head I'm going to start with the ears I already made them shorter before the bat just need to shave them now Going to take these thinning shears for the between the eyes. Then I'm going to comb everything down.
Yeah, these are my new scissors. Curved chunkers. Okay, this is it guys. I think that she's adorable. She's probably the best dog I ever groomed, considering the circumstances. And just take a look at her. She's super cute. She's not matted anymore. Her ears are clean. <laughs> she's going to be neutered tomorrow. And I think that she's going to find a good home in a very short time I'm going to make a photo session with her just look at her I'm going to take this pink color not too tight, don't worry. That's Yeah, she's super cute. I'm going to offer her water again. And some food. <laughs> okay I'm going to I mean she's going to have uh, 
bowl of water and some food there so I'm not worried about she being hungry or thirsty and that's it just have a, one more look of her and let's I'm going to take this leash that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video and for supporting our work i'll keep you posted about how this girl is doing i'll let you know when she finds a home but i think that it will happen pretty pretty soon we are both both tired as you can see it's 11 o'clock in the evening and we are done thank you again for watching and supporting and we'll definitely see you soon bye, bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>